This is day one in exile for Mu Sokua, and clearly the gravity of her decision is still sinking in. I don't want to live as a fugitive. I want a voice, but that voice cannot be heard if I'm captured. The deputy leader of Cambodia's main opposition party decided to leave for neighboring Thailand. She says she would have been arrested if she stayed. A senior official in the government confirmed personally with me that it is imminent the arrest will come sometime this week. Otherwise, I would not have fled the country. The government believes she, party leader Kem Soka and others are plotting with foreign governments to overthrow Prime Minister Hun Sen. Last month, Kem Soka was arrested and charged with treason. It is very lucky for us that Cambodia has found and arrested the traitor. If the opposition party continues to defend this traitor, it means the party is also a traitor. So there is no time left for this party to operate in Cambodia's democratic process anymore. In response, around half of the Cambodia National Rescue Party's members of parliament have now left the country. The situation in Cambodia continues a pattern of Hun Sen attacking the West for trying to interfere in the running of his country and an increasing reliance on China for investment and support. When Kem Soka was arrested, the Chinese Foreign Ministry said it supports the Cambodian government's efforts to protect security and stability. Hun Sen has been in power for more than 30 years, but the opposition has been steadily gaining support. Critics believe the Prime Minister is scared of losing next year's election. The only party capable of defeating him is in tatters, but its leaders believe their challenge can still be resurrected. There is hope if it is that actions are taken by the international community through very uh, strong measures such as targeted sanctions, like visa sanctions, like sus suspension of technical assistance to the government. Mu Sokua isn't sure how long she'll be out of the country, but however long it is, she says she won't give up the fight for true democracy in Cambodia. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.